So when you finish uh, your Screencastify screencast, this window automatically opens up on uh, the Screencastify website. It's video details. So um, there's a lot of things you can do since we set it up initially to sync with Google Drive. You can just get a shareable link from Google Drive. Personally, I, you can also just share to Classroom. I like to publish to YouTube and then provide the links that way. It's a way for me to keep my videos organized. So I'm going to click on Publish to YouTube. And it goes to my account that I'm already logged in. I click as unlisted because then only people who have the uh, link can visit it. Private is what it's set to by default, and only you can view the video. So I click on unlisted so people who have the link can um, view the video. And then I make a description I'm making a screencast with screen. Castify and upload. And that's it. Then I upload my video. When it's done uploading, which can take a couple minutes, um, I just copy the link, which is one of the options, and I keep it in a Google Doc in the lesson folder. That's how I organize my stuff. But you can also, you don't have to copy the link right now because you can um, just navigate to YouTube. So here it is. That's what I do. I press copy link and um, then I put it in a Google Doc where I can um, access it later. But you can also just view it on YouTube. It will also automatically be saved to your drive in a folder uh, called Screencastify, so you can always find it there as well. So good luck making and uploading your uh, videos, and if you have any questions, let me know.